Hey YouTube, this is Tech Andres back again doing another uh, Planet of the Apes toy review. Now, I don't have too, few, uh, too many left, so this is continuing my NECA Planet of the Apes toy, um, classic Planet of the Apes toy line reviews, and this is for Series 2 Zira. Now, Zira is the wife of Cornelius, who is the one of the main sort of heroes, hero characters in the film, and She's done really, really well, but I'll get into her box first and her accessories. Now, she does come with a few accessories. I didn't take them out of the box because they're so small, I didn't want to lose them. And I'll get into the figure once I go through the box and the accessories. So, for the box, she has the exact same box as... It's a window-style box packaging that the same, similar to Cornelius. So, in the left-hand corner, you actually have a picture of Zira. Uh, uh, I think it's an artist rendition of Zira as opposed to, although it looks like it's a photo of the figure. I'm not too sure because you can see the kind of splits where the joins for the arms are. So I think it's a photo of the figure. Um, you got the Planet of the Apes logo. You got the all the kind of legalese stuff at the bottom of the box and the barcodes and you know the production team and all that. You got a symbol. The ape symbol, it's the same ape symbol that's on Cornelius' box on the side. You've got zero seven inch figure and Planet Apes right at the top, which I can just bring in. And then on the back, flipping around, you have a brief read up, a write up on Zero. So it says, a chimpanzee psychologist who is also who also specializes in the veterinary care of captive humans. Dr. Zira is a vocal opponent of the war and those who make it a lifestyle, and is frequently at odds with the militant guerrillas who consider her theory that humans might possess some sort of intelligence and affront to ape society. Then on the bottom you got the same figures from the rest of the figures from series 2, which is General Urzus, who I'll look at um, Later on, uh, Zero herself and the second version of Dr. Zeus, who I've already, uh, by the time hopefully this video goes up, I'll have already have done a review of. And then you got the Apes, uh, Planet Apes. I think this was actually the movie poster logo, um, which showed the destroyed Statue of Liberty, um, Taylor, uh, Charlton Heston as Taylor, crouching before it, and um, the Planet of the Apes logo up in the top. So, flipping back around. I'll just go through the accessories that are inside the box. As I said, I didn't want to take them out because they're quite small. So you got this paper airplane that Taylor makes in the film that he's trying to explain that he came on a spaceship and he was able to fly, but uh, the apes don't believe that flight is possible. So he create he makes a paper airplane for them. So this is made out of either a rubbery material or actual paper. I did take it out. It felt so flimsy. I didn't want to lose it, so I put it back into the box. There's a framed photo of Zira with her husband Cornelius at their wedding day, which is really cool. And you can see they're holding like a bouquet of flowers or something in the middle. And then you got a little notepad down in the corner with the writing, my name is Taylor. Um, after he steals her notepad and she looks at it and he she's, sees that, she sees that he's written um, the words my name is Taylor on it and she realizes that he's actually an intelligent human so and he's able to, sp to write um, so moving on to the figure quickly the head sculpt is fantastic it's amazingly well done it looks exactly like the way the actress had it in the film because um, they have all the group ape um, prosthetics and it has this kind of perm to it as well just really really well done um, this is the only figure I know that has this soft goods kind of um, cloak thing on them, on her. And then one of my favourite things is the shoes. She has these open toe sandals, like I was saying with um, Cornelius and Dr. Zeus, but her ones are actually open toe. So she has these, you can actually see her little uh, little gorilla feet, or the ape feet going through. And you have their soles on the bottom, and as I should have said with all the other videos, that they have peg holes on their feet, so you can actually pop them up in peg holes. Now, she can hold her accessories, as far as I know, I just don't want to take them out in case I lose them. But uh, she's wearing basically the exact same uniform as Cornelius except a female version of it so the sleeves on the side are slightly shorter she has a more dress style to her instead of the full pants suit and uh, she's wearing like a tunic but it has the same symbol on the chest area so I'm assuming it denotes some sort of uh, scientific um, uh, some sort of science division of the ape society 
or veterinarian division. Um, her articulation is a little bit hindered, more hindered than the other figures. So she has the same ball joints on the shoulders, so she can actually put her arms up quite a bit. She has full rotation, so she can move all the way around. Now it's where her elbows is. It's because of the way it's sculpted. This is fairly solid piece, so you can get her elbow to bend, but you can't really move it around that too much. So it gets hindered by this um, cloak piece that's over her kind of inner tunic. Now I think the, the brown hair is supposed to be representative of the same inner tunic that goes like a, it's like an underlying bodysuit. So you got this kind of, it's like a knitted woven sort of style um, thing and then you have her hands which are ungloved so you can see the ape hands or the gorilla's ape style hands. So her hands can go out but you can't really get them to cross over too well because of this sculpting. And then just like the other figure she has a rotation at the waist which is hidden because of this rubberized um, over tunic and then her feet can go forward so you can get into kind of a good seated position. She can do the splits, but she can't do them too much because the skirt piece will hinder it. She has single jointed knees, which she can just get into a 90 degree bend. And then she has the ball jointed rocker ankles, which are really well done. She can get some good poses out of her. Um, to be honest, they, they weren't so dramatic with their posing in the films, but uh, you can get some good poses out of her and you could probably get some good... Um, poses with her and Cornelius together and stuff like that so she's really I wouldn't say she's basic on, on articulation she has the same articulation points it's just she's a little bit more hindered because of her sculpt of the figure but overall she's a fantastic figure and if I just bring in her husband Cornelius you can see the size between the two of them she is quite, her head is quite a little bit large, but I think it's more to do with the hair than anything else. So the, the face is actually about the same scale as Cornelius's. It's just because she has this ginorm, ginormous perm kind of on top of her head. And uh, just for another scale comparison, I'm bringing the first version of of Dr. Zaya. So there is a height difference between them. Uh, both her and Cornelius are quite small compared to um, Zeus, and I think that's supposed to be because they're supposed to be doing uh, chimpanzees, kind of, as opposed to the um, whatever ape the um, Corne or Zeus uh, character was designed off. Because you have like the gorilla soldiers who are ape soldiers, and I think uh, Cornelius and Zero were supposed to be chimpanzees, and I think, if I remember correctly, I think Zeus is supposed to be some sort of like a orangutan sort of character. So. There you go guys, just a quick video review for the Zira figure. Um, as I say in my videos, I hope you liked the video. If you do, feel free to click like, feel free to subscribe to my channel, and feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. There you go guys, hope you enjoyed my video review.